that is way too long to leave a tampon in. I heard you can catch it just from the air. No, that's not how you get pink eye. Drinking when you have a UTI is kind of, you know, like a painkiller, like. <laughs> okay, I may have seen very few to none of this show because I was starting med school when it came out and, you know, preoccupied with the Krebs cycle and other very valuable things that I learned my first year of med school. But today we get to go through some of Snooki and the situation's best ob related comments and discussions from the Jersey Shore. I'm getting pink eye in my right eye. It's like a little bit of a bigger pink bag under my eye. You know what I, mean? I have one too then. Not about you. I, I, I feel it. It feels like heavy. Yeah, I see it. I see it. I see it. I wake up this morning and I notice that my eye is a little bit puffy. Holy sh I got pink eye. This is what you get for putting a fat girl's ass in your face. <laughs> Um, no, that's not how you get pink eye. I know there is uh, some old tropes about farting on pillows that I'm pretty sure that some kid told me in the eighth grade and some tropes about what was just said, but I can assure you that pink eye, which is bacterial conjunctivitis, is not caused by that. <laughs> that's how you get pink eye. <laughs> <laughs> I think he got pink eye because he was dancing with the skank. When you figure like diving through the fat chick's leg, maybe she had something out when he was sliding through and it got particles got in his eyes or something like that. Nope, still not how it happens. Yo guys, I gotta let you know something that's disgusting. He acts like he's got some kind of terminal illness he needs to share with them. I think I'm getting pink eye in my right eye. Are you so yeah. don't touch me? Yeah. Just to let you know, I think I'm getting pink eye in my right eye. Oh, damn. Pink eye is very contagious, I heard. I don't know much about it, but I heard you can catch it just from the air. You can't catch it from the air. I thought Vinny had some disease or some shit, the way he was acting. Like, honestly, I was like, fing pink eye, like, whatever. Like, take some medication, you'll be fine. Like, only me, this would happen to me. Inside that, you can see what no, not only you. It's incredibly common. Pink eye is a very common problem. It's contagious. He said, it, like, if I like, if I like, rub my eye, and then like you rub and your if eye, if you lick your eyeball, you can get it. Quit. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> so I don't think licking your eyeball would actually spread it. Interestingly enough, you have to touch the infection and then touch someone else's eye or touch something that they touch that they then touch their eye. That's how it spreads. So direct contact with some kind of infected fluid from someone who has it. So you don't wanna be sharing towels or tissues. You don't wanna be putting your eyeballs together. I don't know, probably would avoid like close contact kissing with somebody if they have pink eye and you don't want to catch it. Lots and lots of hand washing, especially if you live in a house with another person and then making sure that you're not touching your eye, touching other things. It is what it is, pink eye happens. This one's called Snooki Explains Lesbianism and I cannot wait. I'm gonna call Emilio. He's probably at the club right now. Fucking living it up. Before I go to bed, I have to call Emilio. I haven't talked to him for two days. Ew. Ew, what are you doing? What are you doing? I can't hear you, man. Go somewhere. What are you yelling at me for? What the f I can't hear you. So go outside where you can hear me, dummy. Did we have this corded phone still in 2009? That looks like a phone from the 90s to me. I'm not going outside. You're oh. being a There's half-naked girls everywhere. Whatever. Bye, Pete. Fuck you. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, what the fuck? Uh, what the fuck? Uh, Dad. Did he hang up on you? You want to show naked girls? Go ahead. Go get an STD. We were really out there with reality TV normalizing incredibly toxic relationships in this period of life. If you're in a relationship like this, yep, yep, just cut it off. Stop it right there. Nothing's gonna get better. You cannot fix them. Exit now. Don't look back. Guys are douchebags and I hate them all. They don't know how to deal with women and I feel that's why the lesbian rate is going up in this country. <laughs> That's why the lesbian rate is going up in this country. Okay, obviously that is silly and the rates of lesbians is not going up. It's simply that it's become safer over time to share that publicly. Smushing on periods. Is that what they call having sex? Oh my God. Okay, here we go. Yo, um, we kind of got, um, something going down. Mm -hmm. So, um, you, I spoke to my girl and she said that your girl has, um, her period. She wants to. She says she wants to get down, 
But um, she's like, I don't know if she wants to get down. I, I totally feel you. she's a cute chick, but you've got to be kidding me. I don't get down like, like that. I feel you. <laughs> Why are they addressing it like it's some horrible thing? Like, just don't have sex at night if you don't want to have sex with someone on their period. And if you want to, then just do it and put a towel down. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Unless it's my girl, I don't get down like that either. We ain't doing in the swag handbook, uh, rule number 667 states that you cannot have sex with a girl that's on her period unless it's your girlfriend and unless it's your girlfriend for a minute. <laughs> well, okay, if the swag handbook says that, then yeah, who am I to say that it's not correct? What a damper. So, yeah. They're so awkward. How old are they? <laughs> so weird. You guys have a situation, so we. Um, yeah, work. And you guys have, well, you have something. And um, we like y'all and want to hang out with y'all again and not ruin it the first time, you know what I'm saying? Um, can we, like, uh, like re reschedule this piece? Yeah, what a full book at. Y'all gonna hate us or what? Yeah, yeah. I'm not a hater. That's what I'm saying, me neither. I never hate. I'm gonna call you tomorrow. If you act like you don't know me, I'm gonna come to Staten Island. So let's do like a chill, chill night, you know what I mean? I'm gonna be able to seal the thing. I mean, chill. Yo, that better, <laughs> yo, that better be the right number too, Yeah. Yo. Grab that front phone and turn it on. They are so awkward. I would be hightailing it right out of there. That is so uncomfortable. I can't deal with that. It gives me the ick. That is my ick. That is my ick. Hard pass. Thank you. Dina's issue. I'm not gonna eat. I'm gonna get to throw up. Oh, you really don't feel good? Mm, my stomach really hurt. Maybe you're not used to eating like that because you're not like that anymore. So I'm at work and I'm just feeling like complete my, I feel like I have flu-like symptoms when my, I legit just, my stomach hurts. Okay, as a side note, I had absolutely no idea that they had to go to work when they were on the show. Where, where do they work? What do they do? I, I missed so much of my early 20s, thanks to medical school. Someone fill me in. Sorry, I got like gas. We're gonna go to the bathroom, Sam. Take She's getting sick, she's emotional. I hope she's not pregnant. I can't have two pregnant meatballs in this house. Did you order food? No, I'm not hungry. That's good for you? No, I just, I don't feel good. It's like not even hungover though, because I'm not really hungover, but my stomach hurts. Yeah. Are you gonna lay down? Yeah, I don't feel good. I keep getting shooting pains in my stomach. What did you eat? I didn't even eat that salad. Oh, please, God, never bring back the thin eyebrows from the 2000s. Please don't ever bring it back. Please don't ever bring it back. I can't do it again. Don't ever bring it back. I don't think I could have toxic shock syndrome. Right now, I feel like my body is going into shock. Like, everything hurts. I feel like I have a fever. I feel like I have to throw up. I feel like I might have toxic shock syndrome. So toxic shock syndrome is a very serious illness. It's a blood infection and it can be caused by tampons. There's also a ton of other things that can cause it. Essentially, you look and feel septic because that's what it is. There's some different parts of it, including endotoxin production and things that are really irrelevant to this conversation, but basically it's a blood infection that can be life-threatening. TSS, you leave a tampon in for too long? Yeah. How long? It's gotta be over a day. All day and then today? All day yesterday? Mm hmm That is way too long to leave a tampon in. She probably still does not have toxic shock syndrome, but please don't leave tampons in that long. Come on, what? why would you? Do you even really need a tampon that bad if you can leave it in for 36 hours? What is happening? Don't do that. Eight hours, eight hours or less. Change your tampon every eight hours, please. And thank you. That's to reduce the risk of toxic shock syndrome, by the way. Use the lowest absorbency possible to control the flow that you are having and change your tampon at a minimum every eight hours, potentially more often. Not a minimum of eight hours, a minimum of one time in eight hours or more. Change it at least every eight hours. Okay, that's it, that's it. I don't wanna be confusing. I'm already confusing, I give up. Okay. <laughs>
in all day today. After work, I put paint back in. Oh. The same one? Surely that's not what she means. I've got to watch that again. All day yesterday? Mm-hmm. And all day today? After work, I put paint back in. Put it back in? Is she saying she took a tampon out and put the same one back in? I would strongly recommend against that. Let's let's not let's not do that. Mm -mm. My teacher passed away from that. Really? Yeah. My like seventh grade teacher. What happens? I don't even know the symptoms. Read your tampon box. It's in it's in a pa pamphlet inside of it. Anyone in the house is more of a hypochondriac and more dramatic than me, it's Dina. So she says TSS, toxic shock syndrome that you get from tampons, wearing them too long. She says you wore it for like 18 hours. Every girl's been there. It takes weeks upon weeks to catch that Oh my gosh. This it does not take weeks and weeks to get toxic shock syndrome. Do you feel like I have a fever? It says like you could have a rash that looks like a sunburn. And I'm like, I'm already tan. I just went tanning. Is this toxic shock syndrome or am I just tan? Do you want me to call the doctor? I guess if it gets worse. Well, <laughs> relax for like 45 minutes and see if it'll go away. I hope I don't fall. You're not gonna die at me, I won't lie you. I'm really worried and Jenny's like, you're fine. Like, right now she's not doing very good nursing. Maybe it's just horrible gas. Oh my gosh. Okay, so signs and symptoms of toxic shock syndrome. Almost always you're going to have a fever over 102 usually and you most likely will just feel generally bad, like myalgia, muscle aches, stomach ache, diarrhea, vomiting. You can have headaches. Sometimes you'll have somnolence or feeling like overly sleepy. People can even get hallucinations. And then the skin rash they're talking about is just a severe red inflamed painful skin rash. So all of these things do not always come along with toxic shock syndrome. So the way that I explain this in previous videos is, if you are currently using a menstrual product, particularly a tampon, and you start having flu-like symptoms or you feel ill, you should immediately take it out, switch to something else, monitor, and if you are still feeling quite unwell, you should be seen by a doctor or advanced practice provider, some kind of healthcare professional to evaluate you and make sure that there's not something more serious than just a normal viral illness going on. It's relatively indistinguishable, especially in the early stages from just like the flu. So don't be afraid to seek help and get input if you start feeling really unwell. I love sleeping in just like shorts. I wish I could sleep naked. See, I feel too loose down there. Not that I'm loose, but I feel like there's like not like enough. Hangy, weirdo. <laughs> that there's not <laughs> enough. Like I feel like, what if something crawls in like a bug? Crawls <laughs> in crawling your vagina. A million spiders crawl in your mouth. What if you're free balling it while you're sleeping? Like if a bug crawls up your nani, what if it goes up there and it has babies? It like hatches eggs or Then you're just having bugs. Wow, I have quite literally never in my life once thought about that and I've never heard of that happening, but I cannot sit here and confidently tell you that it never has or never could. So there you go. I guess that is an argument to sleep in underwear, perhaps. We're just gonna move on. I don't know what else to say. There's some dance moves, that's for sure. I got really excited dancing with like my girls and I legit peed myself. Oh my God, Nicole's out of control. She's breaking ping on a dance floor. It's crazy. Like, thank God nobody else saw it. This is terrible, but I want to know why she needs perfume. I would be going home to take a shower personally. I don't know, that's just me. Cool. Honestly, I don't care. If you spray perfumes and take a shore shower, that's still considered a shower. N nope, Th it is not. Th that is not a shower. And also, please do not put perfume up there. Thanks. Don't call me dirty. I'm not dirty. I smell phenomenal. 
I'm going piss. Oh, this is gonna be bad. The fact that I peed myself at the club, something funky's going on. Like, I can't control my bladder. So I piss blood. Can we go to the doctor tonight? No, it's not. Of course, I can't deal with it. Sounds like she probably has a urinary tract infection and certainly incontinence and bladder control are more difficult when you have a urinary tract infection. Thanks being a I thought we were all supposed to stay together and he's like talking to strangers. Why does my do what he does? I'm not washing my hands. Yeah, I don't ever do it. Please wash your hands after you go to the toilet. If you also wash your hands after you go to the toilet, subscribe and turn on notifications because we all like to be in good company. I feel like I have a UTI right now because I have to pee every two seconds. So UTI doesn't stand for Ultimate Tanning Institute. It stands for a urinary tract infection, but you could call it either way. I'm in pain right now, so I need something to take away the pain. How about antibiotics? <laughs> I'm a vet tech and I know what to do when it comes to UTIs. I got a two tequila shot because I need pain medication. So drinking when you have a UTI is kind of, you know, like a painkiller, like anesthesia, like you don't feel it. I know what to do for a UTI tequila. I mean, that's one thing to do. I don't know how uh, effective it will be, but okay. Um, I think I have a UTI. I've gotten them before, like probably like 10 times in the last year. For now, we should be able to get you better with, you know, just the antibiotic. I'll have to check it out and see. So I don't drink on that, right? Yeah, you should take it easy. How are you going to have fun at the shore without drinking? Say I only wanted, like, one drink. That maybe... That's fine. You could do that. Okay. Thank God. Ooh, it was going to be so hard not to drink tonight. I'll get a nice, big, strong one. Don't mix your antibiotics with alcohol. It could make you really feel terrible. It could alter how the antibiotics are processed and make them not effective or make them accumulate too quickly. Or the antibiotics could affect how you process the alcohol and make you way too drunk way too quickly. So lots of problems. Don't, don't mix prescription medications and alcohol. Just, it's not a good idea. Shots! Here comes the shots and this is where it starts. <laughs> I think shots plural is more than the one drink that he said would be okay. My doctor said that I can't really drink a lot. I knew it was gonna be so hard not to drink. So you know what? I just gave in and I drank. And I drank. Long Island! And I drank. Honestly, I drank so much that my freaking UTI was drunk. So now I know he's happy, I'm happy, everybody's happy. Okay, that was a wild ride. I'm so happy that we got to watch some Jersey shorts together today. I hope that you learned something. If you did, leave a like on this video. Comment down below what other reality TV shows might have some moments that are relevant to pregnancy or gynecology, and we'll review them together. I'll link some more videos right over here if you wanna check them out, and I'll see you next Monday.